Actually, this problem has a condition, which makes it really annoying. <laughs> Alright. Did you make it work? If someone's not qualif confident qualifying for JMO, should they still apply for Otis? I mean, ultimately, it's up to you. Like, it, Otis is an Olympia training program. It's what it says on the tin. Like, if you're willing to accept the risk of not making JMO after preparing for Olympia, it's, that's not my decision. That's your decision. And I can, I can like support either way. I don't judge. I just take anyone who I think is ready. Okay, so. This is going to be a non-American triangle because angle C is the larger one. <laughs> okay, so O is... D is intersect line AO. In theory, if someone has a million V-Bucks, they can end the stream prematurely, yes. Or they can request to enter the stream prematurely. I mean, I've been fulfilling most of the requests that come in, but I don't technically have to fulfill all of them. Triangle center, A, C, D, 3. Okay, so A, E, F, and then extend B, A, and C, A beyond A, such that A, G, what? Like, oh. What? Hmm. Make a hard AMGM unit? I think that's almost... I don't know. I think my reservation about that is I don't want you to know that much about exactly what the correct thing to do is. Um, what website? This is just Yoji, bro. It's not a web. It's the desktop app. Okay, so G is absolute C minus A times A minus B over arms A minus B plus A, and then H is. Line AC. Okay, so that's the picture. It's kind of a weird picture. Okay, so then E F wait, what? I want E F G H to be a rectangle. <laughs> what? This is the most random condition. Okay, so uh Okay, well um what? Okay, so first of all, is EF actually just parallel to GH? Because if so, that makes my life a lot easier. Oh, did uh, something get censored that shouldn't have been? Okay, yeah, so this is that thing where triangles A, E, B, and 
there's a there's a picture called Selman theorem sometimes um, where what happens is thanks NuxC Sane for the follow uh, triangle A there's a spiral similarity whenever I have these um, circumcenters like this there's a spiral similarity which sends AEB to AFC. I think it's called Salmon for unknown reasons. I think it's only move person. And in this case, that's actually AEB. This angle is, we actually know what the angle is in this case, right? Because AEB is equal to, um, let me do AFC, it's easier to think about. AFC is equal to two twice angle ADC, which is equal to twice angle B plus whatever this guy is. What is this guy? This guy is 90 minus B. Wait, what? No, 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 it's not that. 90 minus C. So this angle is really weird. It's like 180 plus 2B minus C. Seriously? Well, I guess 2C minus B is. Oh, whatever. I was for that. Right. Okay, and meanwhile, there's this big other isosceles trapezoid. So BCGH is isosceles trapezoid. And so, do I have an Otis unit about the Salmon theorem? No. Anyways, yeah, so EF and GHR should actually be their reflections across. Okay, so the angle bisector of like the external angle bisector of C. No, it's not perpendicular. What? Okay, I, I've been missing the. Okay, but yeah, it definitely looks like EF should be parallel to GH. Thanks to non and N for the follow, um, because EF is perpendicular to AD, and I guess AO should be perpendicular to GH as well, right? Oh, uh, why is that true? Okay, wait, I'm not keeping up with the chat. So what's going on? Um, AF is equal to AC, and then what are you guys? Oh, <laughs> I see, because GH is equal to BC. Okay, so because of the similarity, okay, so I don't need the single chase actually. Uh, I need EF perpendicular to AD, which is fine. BC, GH is isosceles, that's obvious. GH is equal to BC. And the Salmon theorem says this. So in particular, EF equals BC, which is equal to GH. If and only if AF equals FC, which is the angle condition. <laughs> Okay. All right, we did it. Yeah, that, that was very quick. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was pretty underwhelming. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like, because EF and the, it's just equivalent to AFC being equal to all. Looks like a person drowning. 
Yeah. <laughs> I will dispute that. I do actually have to do it that one. Um, okay, um, cool. What was the next one? Was it the A2? Today is really going quickly. Okay, so this is a thing where you start with two different positive real numbers and Can we censor it? People seem to know this problem. All right, can the sequence be bounded? Wait, isn't this an Amy problem? I swear I've seen this on the Amy before. Oh, wait. wait, I swear I've seen this on the Amy. Let me, let me see if we can find it. Oh no, never mind. Different problem. Okay. Ignore that. Um Did we solve the Geo one? Yeah, it was really quick. It was like once you notice a similarity, it was like it was a weird ish weird. Oh, I never actually addressed the right angles, did I? I didn't actually show that it was a parallelogram and not a rectangle. Um, okay. <sighs> but that's just wrong. Yeah, also, I... yeah. Um, AEF was similar to ABC in the last problem. Okay, actually, I should I should go back and like do it properly. Um, GeoGebra. So what happened was, um, yeah, the, the big similarity is that AEF and ABC are unconditionally similar. This is called the Salmon Theorem. You can basically it's because there's this AEB and AFC will be similar by spiral similarity. Or sorry, just by angle chasing, because they're associated these triangles with the same angle. This is true even if like O is not on D, like this thing. So they're similar, and that gives you that AEF ABC are spirally similar. On the other hand, BC is equal to GH. So if you have a rectangle, then it follows the triangles are congruent, and this triangle here is equilateral AFC. Um, once you have its equilateral, the last thing I need to check is that there's like a right angle, um, which I didn't actually do, but uh, why is that true? Uh, yeah. Maybe it'll be easier to see if I pick an example of which it's actually equilateral.
Oh, this is so hard to get to. Okay, so in one of these video examples, um, if this is actually an equilateral triangle, then this is a 30 degree angle. And then what do I say? You can compute the angle between How many subs do I have to, um... Okay, so AG equals AF equals AC. Oh, wait. oh I see. So, so these guys lie on a circle. Centered at A in that case. Okay, so that's how you can draw the example properly. And then in that case, this angle is equal to angle ACG, which is equal to angle ACF. Okay, fine. And this is angle C. Yeah. Thanks to the follows. Dotted calculator, possible I, WW27534. Okay, let me go back to the A4A2.